Hello and welcome to my Griffin Farm Let's Play. So, last episode we got this field planted, which is now in the growth stage 2. And our sunflower field, which we got with the farm, is now ready to harvest. So I'm going to get the header brought over here and then get the harvester. And we're going to start getting this field harvested this episode. Okay, let's get this hooked up. Get it all unfolded. Now this field is... We kind of get a boost due to the fact that we're doing the crop rotation, which helps. But yeah, we're not going to get the yields, great yields, just because it's, when you look at the pH, it's okay, but nitrogen is bad, so it's basically just not being fertilised very well. But we will take whatever we get from it. This harvester's not got any sort of additional storage, um, I think it holds 8,000, something like that. You can get it up to 16, which we will do. You can also boost the power on it, um, we're currently at about 300 horsepower. Uh, we can boost that to, I think it's like 400 and something. Now I'll go into detail of the specs and everything like that on uh, another video that I'll be linked down below. Uh, that's my equipment sort of tour video of this whole farm. So you can give, go and give that a look after you've watched this video. And so far it's going pretty well with power. That was like a pretty hilly bit there and it seems to be going not too bad. Could have got a slightly bigger header for it, but when you do that, you end up sort of going slower because it just can't take the, the weight of it. I think we've picked the right one. If we put more power on it, we might be able to do that, but then we want to put a bigger grain bin, then it might just be good enough for keeping the big grain bin. Same header, more power, less tipping, sorts. What I'll do is I'll get. What am I be able to do? Should I just do one round actually? I think I'm just going to get this round finished. And I'll get the tractor and everything moved, and I'll get the uh, lot of the truck to here. I keep wanting to say lorry, but we've got to say truck for in America. I'll get the truck um, brought round. So I don't have a. Uh, sort of auger wagon yet. I do want to get an auger wagon, but they are expensive. So we'll just bring the uh, truck onto the field for an hour. Yep, we'll get this done and see you so That's the first load of the um, We went round, I'm going to go round again. Like there is space here, but it's just if I do decide to put a worker on, I just want to make sure there's plenty of space. Because um, I just know how sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, because I've not done this uh, field before, we'll see. Uh, like sometimes it seems like it's tons of space to you, but when the worker gets on it, yeah, it's quite small. So, yeah, I'll do two. It's more like I'm going to run um, sort of that way as well. And yeah, we'll just get it all mashed out as quick as we can. In terms of what we're doing with the sunflowers, um, I'm storing them. I'm not going to sell them. What I'd like to do is use the money we make up from the silage to get an oil refinery. But I know that depends how much we get for the silage, that's the thing. Um, there is a nice little bit of land that is next to the dairy, which is only, which is quite cheap, I think it's like 15,000, something like that. The oil refinery itself is about 100, so we probably are going to have to target like 100 grand, it will be still like 120,000 to be safe. Um, so that's our target for the silage. Then that will fund the oil refinery, which we can put these in, and the canola next year, and the soybeans, if we're going to put in here, all go in there. 
as we were trying to expand and do other things as well. So that is the plan for the sunflowers. But yeah, we'll get this round finished and we'll start getting some scripts done. And yeah, well, we'll get the mulcher on here today as well. But pretty much we're trying to do as much view prep today on this field as we can. I do want to look at contracts. So what I might do is get this going and then have a quick look at some contracts to see if there are any contracts going that we can do. Um, if there's some harvest contracts that we can do, that would be great because I did see a lot of corn and other sunflowers um, fields that are ready to go. Now they might not pay that great but you do sometimes get a little bit more product which we can um, keep. So yeah, we're definitely looking for some of those contracts that we can. So this is about the third load that we're putting into the truck now. We have done a decent bit of field, but we've still got quite a lot to go. I have accepted another contract for harvesting. Um, there are two for ploughing, but the fields look like they still need to harvest it. Um, fields one and two are... still have crop in them, I went to look at them. Um, because they were uh, orange on the map to say that they were ready to harvest. But for some reason... They're down for ploughing jobs, which I don't understand. But I've left them for now, I might do them. But it is a harvest job on Field 24. I have leased other equipment so that we can go and get that started as well. It does pay about 13,000 and then we might get some extra it's a corn field, so we might get some extra corn from it. I'm going to set this uh, off to get the worker and then we'll get the equipment moved to the other field and get it started. So this is the equipment that we got for doing our contract field. A uh, decent actual amount of equipment and kind of equipment. It's got a 9250 uh, harvester, case harvester, which is looks really nice. Uh, I'm sure it'll be really nice to harvest with. Uh, this is the case corn header. 4418, which 10 meters wide. Uh, I think it goes at six, so it is slower than the one we have, but it's a bit wider. Then we have a monster John Deere, a 97, a 97, a 9570 RX. That was very nice to drive up here. It's just annoying that it's in the European sort of style. Then we've got the Bergman GTW 330 and the base game Mac truck with uh, I think it's a load king we've got here yeah a load king trailer so yeah a bit of a uh, green and red for a change what do you guys prefer green or red leave it down in the comments what you prefer I don't mind I like all of them to be honest so our field is like halfway through with the worker so we are gonna have to kind of go between both this one will we'll take quite a while because it is a big field. Um, if we do get it, if we do get the other field finished, I uh, will probably maybe move the harvester down to help out because it would definitely speed this up. Like we're paying the rental cost for this anyway so if we can get it done even faster that'd be great. Yeah I'll do a lap or two of this. I'm not sure what the best way to actually cut it is. I might be going up that way. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be coming up and down, so clear one here. Yeah, one lap should probably do it on this one. Right, I'll see you when I've done that.
have set the other harvester off that is doing the contract field. We went one round and I've set them off for now. We're getting close to finishing our sunflower field, so I'm just hooking up the mulcher on this. Uh, I'll get the John Deere hooked up onto the Heather trailer because I do think I'm going to need the John Deere to go and help with that contract once it's finished harvesting the sunflowers. Just to speed it up. Oh, there we go. Helper F. I'm not sure which helper that is, so I'm going to have to check both of them. We'll get this parked up ready to start doing some mulching once we've checked that. So it was this harvester that was full. Yeah, just get under. I just realised that this, I thought this trailer was bigger than it is. Um, we're about 50% with one and a little bit of that load. We're almost going to be full with uh, two loads. This tractor though is really good. It's like the newer version of what we have and just a lot more powerful. It's like a double the horsepower. 627 horsepower this thing has. It is brilliant. I would love to have one of these down the line if we can. There are other workers now almost full as well. It's so only at 87. Right, I'm going to go and tip this into the load king. Follow it down just to make sure we get all of it in. Tip it into the load king, and by that time, we should be able to get a full load from our sunflowers. So that is this sunflower field done. Now, we filled one side of our trailer here, which is 40,000, and we got some of the other one in, and this loaded well. So it's like we got about 55,000 total off the field. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the John Deere out and get it hooked up to the header trailer so we can quickly get this um, down to the other field to help the case out. I'm going to take this uh, John Deere down first, we'll get the header brought down shortly. Um, I'm just going to focus on getting this contract done. Um, I was going to try and do the mulch and and at the same time but I think we'll just focus on the contract first and then we'll get the mulch and at the end of the episode and possibly lime as well, we'll just see how it goes. So we've got the John Deere down at this contract now. Uh, I just finished up the bit around the pumping station down there. Just tidied that up. The case is set off on that side. So I think we'll set this off up here. Just so we don't trash into one another. I think I found an explanation as to why those other contracts were saying cloud. Um, it's something to do with the fact that the fields need plowed. So it's like the job is pulling through the fact that the field needs plowed, apparently. Um, you can also fix it with the development tools. Um, so we might have a look at doing that. Um, it seems a bit silly to try and plow a field that has perfectly good crop in it. So yeah, we'll see if we can sort that. We might get a contract with harvest them, but we might not, so it's not... We're not kind of forcing it. If we don't get a harvest contract, we don't get a harvest contract for it. But yeah, I just want to make sure it's not totally glitching on us. But yep, I found an explanation for it. it kind of makes sense, but it's, it seems a bit weird why it's a, apparently it's a known issue. An annoying known issue. So the case was full, so I got the uh, auger wagon underneath it, just to get it emptied. Um, that let me put a worker into the uh, John Deere, just to get that going as we're doing this. And I thought, oh, we can get this field cleared of our truck. So we get this put into our silo for now. So yeah, we've almost got 50,000 litres of um, sunflowers, 48,950. So not too bad. So we are looking to do oil, but with the money that we have now, we, yeah, it's going to cost about a hundred and something thousand to get that all set up. But the silage will help. 
Hopefully. So our John Deere is now full as well, so we'll see how much we can get tipped into this. Or we'll put it into the Load King. Now, this one is kind of annoying because we're sending it on the train, so I can't just hold it once we know how much we've sent down for the contract, if you get what I mean. It's like normally you could just deliver it to the sell point for the contract and it'll tell you what percentage that you have delivered. And you can keep the rest. This one I won't know because I've got to send it all away and it'll be a couple of fees if I send it twice kind of thing. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get around that. I might just wait, hang on to it for a bit before I complete the contract. So then we get the best price for the corn essentially. Because... Yeah, so it's going to Mount Vernon. That's the way we've got to take it to. Now the price is kind of all over the place, um, but the best price is 900 and we're like half that at the moment, so I think we might hold on to it. Which doesn't really hold on to it for too long, so like hold on to it until January. It shouldn't be too bad if we do that. Waiting to do my field mulching because I just want to get that done and once this field's done. So we'll get this tipped. I think we'll check out what the harvesters are doing. I might have to actually take this load king down to the uh, yeah, it's full. So we'll need to get that tipped first before we see what happens. Otherwise, we'll have nowhere to store our stuff. So this is our first of hopefully at least two full loads. I would think you'd get at least 100 off that field. So we'll put this down at the silo where the train stops. Um, and just get all the rest of it harvested and waiting for it. As I say, we'll wait till oh, it's another worker's got a fuel tank. I just can't keep up at the moment. I'm busy, busy, busy. See, we'll get this tipped out of this one and we'll just hang on to it for a couple of months. If we, because I'm not planning on like, doing that, like, I'll do contracts, but I'm not planning on doing like keeping three at a time maybe, that's because you can do three at a time now, which is good. So yeah, we'll just hang on to it until we need to sell it. But I'd rather get more money than just the little pittance that they're kind of offering there. So we've just kind of uh, been carting. With taking the uh, load keg down to the silo, it's um, yeah, we fill it up pretty fast with this when we've got two combines on it. So we are just running the green cart essentially. And we are keeping busy, I'm not gonna lie. Like the header on this case as well isn't actually that big for it. You probably could get a fair bit bigger, maybe two meters, maybe more bigger. That would be, yeah, that would destroy the field if you were doing that. Um, it is a nice combine now. It's, it's in Camps and Farm we had the smaller, we had the 7, 7150. This is a 9250, so it's got a lot more capacity in it, a lot more power. So yeah, it's, it's a very, very nice combine. The green and red is uh, looking good on the field, not going to lie. Maybe a bit odd to some, but I like it. The grain cart is good as well, actually, on this. Like, the tractor's awesome, I've said that before. The grain cart is um, pretty good. The rear steer axle makes it nice and easy to turn. It's fairly quick at unloading into the trailer. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit bigger. So it takes, like, two loads from this. Um, but then you kind of got an odd amount, because it's, like, 33,000 litres. Probably want one that's about 40,000 at least. Especially if you're having a, a combine this size. Like for our one, this one would take three loads, so it's not too bad. Yeah, we're almost going to be done not very, not too long until we're done, to be honest. So I'll just keep carting. And yeah, we'll check in because when we're doing all the whole tidy up for this field, so then we can start mulching our one.
that's the harvesting part of the contract done. Um, I've delivered everything to the silo for the train. Just left the truck there. I've parked the other two machines just there. Um, for now, I'm not sure if I'll return them to the shop or I'll just leave them there. We'll get this on so we can get it back to the farm. I think we'll get our mulching started before we take this back up because we'll do the two rounds and then we'll probably a little work we do it when we move this gear back to our farm okay we are in the kibota now we just need to get this gear all unfolded that one just lowers and there we go Perfect. Yeah, I'll get this round and probably another one done just so we don't end up in the trees. I think we'll just do the lime in the start of the next episode. Um, I'll concentrate on getting the mulch done so it's part way there. And we'll get the equipment brought back up to the farm. I think for the start of the next episode we'll probably will go into the second day of October. Um, or again look at some contracts. I might try and look at fixing those um, har uh, fields that need harvested but they're stating they need ploughed. I'll have a look at that quickly and um, yeah I'll get these couple rounds done and I'll see you in a bit. down at the train station. I have fixed the issue that we were having with the field 2 saying ploughing and I've fixed field 1 doing it. I refresh the contract and we do have a harvest for field 2 but it is sending it to the same place and previously when I've done that so send to the exact same crop types on the same contract kind of thing, it has messed up. So I'm going to rent a train. Yes, we might take a hit on what we might get in terms of money, but I think it will be worth it. Um, because we'll get another contract to harvest. So we need to rent the train. And it's quite far away. Nine kilometers. So our Kubota is still mulching. Um, I've sped up time a little bit just to get through the day. So I've not accepted the contract yet. We will probably accept it once we get this one delivered to the um, Mount Vernon, which hopefully happens in this game day, otherwise we might risk losing that contract. But we'll see. Uh, there is the option of getting field one as well, which I've done, so yeah. I think it's just worth it to try and do also, we're getting pretty low on funds, and I think I'm I'm not sure. I think our line will last with other field. Um, but it's just to keep some money coming in. I did want to hold on to it, like I said, but the possibility of doing more contracts, I, I can't really say no to that. Okay, the train is here. Now we just need to get what corn we have loaded, and we can send it away. There's 140,000 train. Now we just need to take it to the end of the map so we can send it to get it sold. I think we can then start our um, next contract. Once we go through this, hopefully. So we'll start this one. We will get the equipment. We will lease it uh, just to make it faster. 
So we'll borrow the items now. That is now active, so that is something for us to do on the next episode. Now we need to go back and see if this mulcher has finished. So the mulching is all done. So we have had a pretty good day. Um, we got our sunflowers harvested and that field mulch. And we got our contract done, so we made a nice 10 grand. We might get some more from the product that got sold, we'll see. Uh, now we've got another contract to do as well in the next, as w next episode, as well as putting some lime down. Yeah, a good day. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Um, also, if you could leave a like on the video, that'd be much appreciated. Also, put any comments down below of what you think we should do within the series. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.